Yes, you can build this gimbal for as low as $25. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to actually see the crazy awesome video this thing can produce. Uh, the cool part is the actual parts of the frame, they're all found local. It's PVC pipe. It's really, really cheap stuff. You can go to Home Depot and get your hands on it. it truly is simple, cheap, and easy to build. So let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, this is a six inch, half inch I think I used. Whatever you get, just make sure you get two of them. Uh, all you need is two, no more than that. You can actually paint these things, make them different colors. Next, you're pretty much going to need a foot long version of this. And it doesn't matter, again, what color, what thickness. Just make sure it's a foot long and they're all going to interact together. Two 90 degree bends. That's all you need. Two joints, two 90 degree bends. And again, that's pretty much the full parts of the frame. So that's really, really simple. But what handheld gimbal is good without a gimbal? So yeah, you can pretty much find these things off China, CNC, they're super, super cheap, uh, vibration isolators, all that good stuff. Um, and obviously you need a GoPro. Um, what good is a gimbal without a camera? Uh, okay, so that's that's done. Let's scratch that. But again, here's the basic frame of it. You just got to stick them together. That's all you got to do. You can see what I'm doing here. Pretty simple. You literally just mash the pieces together. It's like Legos. Just stick it all together. You can glue it if you want, or you can not glue it. You could have, you know, be able to remove it, take it apart, throw it in places. Um, I chose to actually glue mine together just to keep it rigid. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's super, super simple. Now that that frame took a total of like 10 seconds to build, you can use the vibration isolator with the, the gimbal. Um, I actually kind of decided to go with it. Uh, again, it's there's no vibration, there's no props, it's not on a quadcopter. So all any kind of vibration that's going to be transmitted is going to be like either you running or anything like that. So I decided to go with it, just why not? That, and it makes mounting a little bit simpler, I'd say. This is going to make the actual fit and finish of mounting that top of the gimbal tray so much, so much easier. Just get a sharpie, mark out three holes, and you're going to drill out those holes. This step is also just to make things easier for you. Grab a paper clip or piano wire or something like that and just super heat it. Whether it's just a lighter, I actually had a little torch lighter on hand, but just make it as hot as you can and it's kind of almost a pre-tap, like you're pre-drilling, um, but instead you're just burning through the actual PVC pipe. So now you just gotta basically slap the two together, put those rubber dramas through the actual CNC part of the bottom part of the gimbal, and you got a gimbal! I figured I should mention this, I had to solder on a connector because you're gonna have to use any kind of between 10 and 14 volt battery to power this thing. Can you see it?